In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the angles of a right angle triangle using SOCARTOA. Okay, now here, here you've got a right angle triangle, and you want to find the measure of this angle. That's the question. You want to find how much is theta. So that's a question mark. Find theta for each of these right angle triangles. So the first thing that we need to do is to label the sides. So with respect to theta, this angle, this is your opposite and this is your adjacent or angle side. So this is adjacent and this is opposite. We don't label the hypotenuse because you're not dealing with hypotenuse. So now you have to decide which trig ratio uses O and A. So you've got SO for sine. For SO you use the opposite and hypotenuse. For CA you're dealing with A and H. And for TOA, you are dealing with O and A. So which trig ratio uses O and A? So well, this is smiling. So this say, use me. So we need to use TOA. So let's write the TOA. What does TOA stand for? Tan of an angle, or tan theta, is opposite divided by hypotenuse. OK? So let us substitute. So tan theta. We want to find theta, so we'll write tan theta is opposite. What is opposite? Opposite is 1 divided by 2. Now to find theta from tan theta, you have to find the tan inverse of this. So theta is tan inverse. This is how you write tan inverse of O, sorry, 1 divided by 2. Now, for those who want to understand why do we do the tan inverse, just for, you don't need to understand, but those who are interested to understand why do you do tan inverse. So, yeah, tan theta is given to be 1 divided by 2. So, 1, let me write that as in a bracket. So, if you want to get, if you want to cancel this tan, you take the tan inverse of tan. So, basically, tan inverse is the opposite of tan. So tan inverse of tan theta, tan inverse cancel this tan. So if you take tan inverse of one side, you have to take the tan inverse of the other side. So tan inverse of 1 divided by 2. So basically what we are doing is in this step is you're taking tan inverse of both sides. So let me show you what does that mean. So on a calculator, so if you go to your run menu, if you have a simple calculator, it doesn't matter. This is your tan key. Okay, so let me first change this into degrees. So this is, I'm working in degrees. So if you press shift tan of, say, tan of any number, tan 30, what do you expect you would get? Uh, what I'm saying is tan inverse and tan are opposite of each other. So this and this cancels each other out. So if you press equal, you'll get 30. So can you see tan inverse and tan cancel each other out? In the same way, if you press sine inverse of sine, any number, say 20, will give you 20. So sine inverse and sine are opposite of each other. Same way, shift cos inverse of cos, say, let me say 40 degrees, will give you 40. So cos inverse and cos are cancels each other out, sine inverse and Sine inverse and sine cancels each other out. Same way tan inverse and tan cancels each other out. So that's what we do. We're taking tan inverse of one side. So you take the tan inverse of the other side. And so this tan inverse and tan gets cancelled. So and that's what this step is. So tan, tan is tan inverse of 1 divided by 2. So let's get the calculator. So this is how you press shift tan. So you should have this on your screen bracket 1 divided by 2. And what is your, this is your answer, so this is 26.6 degrees in 1 dp. This is 26.56, so I'm rounding this to one decimal point, so it is 26.6 degrees in 1 dp. 26.6 degrees in 1 decimal point. So what does this mean? This means, oh I should have written here, yeah, which is 26.6. So this angle would measure, if you have a right angle triangle where this is 1 and this is 2, this angle would measure 
26.6 degrees. That's what the answer is telling us. You can check that. You can draw a right angle triangle with 1 and 2 and you measure this angle that will be 26.6 around. Okay. Now here again the same process. First label the side. So this is the opposite this is the right angle, so this is the longest side. So that is your hypotenuse. Okay, and this is the side with the angle. This is the angle that we are want to be interested in. This angle, this angle. Sorry. So this side is along with the angle, and that's why it's called adjacent angle, adjacent side. Okay. So now you're dealing with. So now you decide between so, ka, toa. So which trig ratio uses A and H? So well, this is now smiling at me, A and H. So I should write the CA formula. So let me use CA. So cos, CA stands for cos of an angle is A, I'll put that in the bracket, A divided by H. So let us substitute the value, so cos theta is a what is a? a is phi divided by 9 and then you take the cos inverse of the right hand side to get theta so i'm not going to repeat it what we are doing is basically we are taking the cos inverse of both sides so cos inverse of phi divided by 9 so get your calculus out so shift cos bracket phi divided by 9 I didn't put a bracket here. I should put a back bracket here. So this is 56.6 degrees. This angle should be 56.6 degrees. So this angle is 56.6 degrees. Okay, one more question. This is, uh, I think you can do this question yourself. This is again your hypotenuse. And this is your adjacent. Okay, so we're going to use which formula you think yourself and try to do it. Okay, let me look at one more question. This is again, so which is this side? I want you to do this yourself. Okay, so this is your hypotenuse, you don't label that. So this is your adjacent and this is your opposite. So again, you decide between so, ka, so you're dealing with O and A, so you're dealing with, you're looking at tan. So we can say tan, T stands for tan, so tan theta is O divided by A, O divided by A. So tan theta is equal to, this is O is root 3 divided by root 5. So theta is tan inverse of tan inverse of root three divided by root five. So let us get the calculator. So shift tan bracket. This is how you get root three divided by shift root five. And some calculators you don't have to do shift. You have the uh, root key separately so this is root 5 divided by root 3 divided by root 5 which is 37.8 degrees so your theta is 37.8 degrees